Alrighty, what is this? It's a voiceover. I feel like I haven't done voiceovers in ages. Um, so it's that time of year where um, all my voiceover videos are probably gonna start coming out pretty frequently. So I have my Cedar Fair prediction video and Six Flags prediction video coming out next week. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I am so far behind on content. I have probably like a hundred videos that could be released on my laptop, ready to go of various things. It's crazy. I've never had this much content in my life, but it's absolutely amazing. I am so sorry I'm falling behind. Um, Craig and I have just been filming things left, right, and center, and certain videos obviously have to go out before others, even if they're kind of boring videos or something that not everyone on this channel wants to watch. Um, but uh, some exciting news, we are going to be at Great Adventure next weekend. So Sunday uh, the 28th, Monday the 29th, and then we're going to Hershey Park on the 30th. I couldn't be more excited. Uh, it's going to be an amazing trip. Um, and Kenny Wood on August 6th. So for those, of, for those of you who have been like, why are you only at Canada's Wonderland? There are a ton of parks coming up and a ton of content. And we will release that as soon as we film it, pretty much. So don't worry, there is some various content coming. But that's not why you're here. You're here to learn about what is this video? Why did we randomly post this video? What does it mean? What am I trying to get at? And I'm going to explain. So Timberwolf Escape is not the name of our new attraction. That is just something that I've heard before um, and I think it fits well, um, but it is not a confirmed name. Don't worry if you don't like it. It's not a confirmed name. It's just a name. Um, but what is Timberwolf Escape? Why is there a mock double launch right next to Yukon Striker? Um, and why is the year 2021 in the thumbnail? Well, I'm here to talk about a couple of those uh, things <laughs> mentioned. Um, so Timberwolf Escape is a mock double launch that uh, Eastern Thrills or Inside Great Adventure on um, Instagram created and the station by Ryan Rollercoaster on Instagram. Um, it is kind of what I think is coming to Canada's Wonderland next. It's one of two options that are coming next. It's either going to be a wing coaster or a mock double launch. And personally, I think a mock double launch is probably already purchased and sitting and waiting to be built. Um, there's a couple of reasons why, and we have some confirmed reasons. So a lot of you know my video that I made a while back about Yukon Striker being delayed and Val Raven took our place, our coaster year, and that is confirmed. It is true. It has been confirmed by the park. Um, 2016 Yukon Striker was supposed to be built. Um, so if you look at the equation for Canada's Wonderland, Canada's Wonderland is supposed to get a coaster about every two years. It looks like we fluctuate from a big coaster and then they go to a smaller coaster. So Leviathan and then Wonder Mountain's Guardian, Yukon Striker being like Leviathan, a massive coaster. And then we'll probably see a family kid friendly coaster um, in 2021. So, yes, this is not coming in 2021. Um, I'm sorry. Um, maybe, I mean, there are a couple of reasons that someone could argue. So again, we were delayed. We had a really big gap in our coaster years due to Cedar Point needing that coaster for their hotel expansion um, and Canada's Wonderland taking the back seat. We also know that Canada's Wonderland is outperforming um, expectations this season. Um, so I can't wait for you guys to hear the stockholders call because it's some really exciting news. Um, Canada's Wonderland is outperforming in a lot of categories, uh, fast lane sales, um, sales in general, out of uh, town visits, um, and the uh, average guest visit um, on their season pass, however, however you want to word that. Um, they're outperforming in every category, and uh, that's a good sign. That is what companies look for when they're investing in a park. So when you build a roller coaster, you want your fast lane sales up. That is essentially what pays off a coaster. And we do know that Canada's Wonderland is typically that park that pays off coasters. And we know that Canada's Wonderland needs investments. It is one of those Paramount parks that was neglected. Again, not Cedar Fair's fault. They are doing absolutely amazing. Um, Yukon Striker is a huge hit. But it's one of those parks that needs investments and it needs investments now. Um, the farm fields just north of the park are being sold and turned into massive subdivisions. So you're going to have a huge influx of guests over the next five to ten years coming to this park. And this chain needs to invest in this park's infrastructure and lineup to better um, 
uh, account for those uh, increase in attendance that's about to come through those gates. So a mock double launch is perfect. Um, it has a really low height requirement, and this park is one of those parks that needs rides that have lower height requirements. We're not going to be that park that builds the top fill dragster um, or the uh, insane world record um, Intamin coasters. We're going to be that park that builds like stuff like this, you know, those mock family launch coasters, maybe even a mock family spinning coaster. So again, it could be a mock family spinning coaster um, similar to Silver Dollar City that we could be seeing. It's definitely going to be mock, in my opinion, as our next coaster. And I think Timberwolf is on the chopping block. And I think that would complete Frontier Canada. Again, I don't think Mindbuster is going to be RMC'd anymore. I know I used to think that, but I think it sits in the way of a lot of land for a Splashworks expansion. And I think a Splashworks expansion is very close in our future. And that's just something that um, they'll either choose to keep as a wooden coaster and build around or they're going to bulldoze it and use it as a Splashworks expansion. But yes, nonetheless, um, 2021 is either going to be a small family uh, coaster or kid coaster in Planet Snoopy, or it could very well be um, a mock double launch or a coaster, depending on how Cedar Fair is looking at the investments. Typically, if you build something like Yukon Striker, you can sit on yourself for one to two to three years without having to reinvest in something. But again, this is a park um, and we know that that is in line for um, expansions and investments for multitude of reasons. They're very well aware that there are a ton of people moving into the park. Again, every time we speak to park officials, this is something that comes up. The park is increasing in attendance and they need to build infrastructure and rides and attractions to better um, account for those number increases. So um, I definitely want to hear from you guys. What do you think could possibly be coming to Canada's Wonderland in 2021 or 2023? Those are the two years that you're going to be wanting, wanting to look at for um, a coaster. Um, again, it is <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. It seems to be every two years Wonderland gets some sort of coaster and they usually go from a big coaster to um, a smaller family friendly coaster. Um, I do know from speaking to park officials as well that um, Canada's Wonderland is gonna be one of those parks going after world records moving forward. So it does help figure a few things out. Anyways, hopefully you really enjoyed this video on what I think could be coming to Canada's Wonderland. And hopefully this helped answer a few questions. If you still have questions about the future at Canada's Wonderland, comment down below. I will try and respond and answer everyone's questions. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you had an amazing weekend. Bye.